So, Cody Rhodes. It was a feel good match. I was making dinner at it this was. point, so I really was not paying attention. You did so, not miss much. This this match overall was incredibly disappointing. It was. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry to say it. It was very disappointing. I have no clue. I was um, so so here's the thing. Anthony Ogogo had made some interviews on multiple places, really criticizing America for like healthcare and whatever, and people got all pissed off and up and antsy about it. Um, if if you identify with your country, you're a fucking retard. I don't. I mean, I'm, I'm glad to be here, but at the same time, fuck you. Um, Cody was so much about this shit, Oh, man. my God. That promo that he did? Here's my thing. So, Peanut Gallery loved it. I was uh, about it. Well, the reason I liked it is not because of anything you said regarding race or culture or anything like that. You could tell that human had so much passion. Right. And and to me, that's what brought me almost to tears. I mean, I, that's how good it was. I loved his gear too. His gear was yeah, really cool. But but you can tell that it, it th- no matter what political opinion you have, Cody Rhodes had that passion. Right. And that's hard to beat. It really is. This is really rare in this business. It really is. It absolutely is. So, um, like I anyways, said, all I have to say about Cody Rhodes. Also, here's here's one thing. Well, I'll, I'll talk about it later when we make pro wrestling majestic again. So I'll, I'll worry about that later. Um, but the match itself was kind of a letdown. It was. Um, except for, uh, so, Ogogo really showed off great stuff. Like he had a frog splash that. I think it was better than Dominic Mysterio's. Dominic Mysterio is easy to beat, though. I mean, I he's know. Dominic Mysterio. He's also, Nobody he, cares. Well, he's also a lot younger. Let's put it that no way. No one cares. Anthony Agogo is literally an Olympic-level athlete. He's a bronze. Right. Okay, he's still an Olympic-level athlete. You're he's still, a bronze. You're still one of the best in the best. Bronze. In the, the irony that I am Tiger Trump on all social medias, by the way, follow me. Um, and you're doing the Trump impression. That's funny. Uh, but it was, you know, it was it was a match. It was there. Um, you know, whatever. I didn't Cody, much. Cody, Cody did win with a vertebraker, which was weird to me. People were like, oh my God, he hit a cop killer. I mean, it was a cop killer, but no, it's a vertebraker. That was a vertebraker. He killed his own son. I, I think he's having a girl. I think actually... Exactly. Just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, peanut, peanut Gallery is a retard. I did that on purpose. All right. So, AEW, if you want to be majestic again, you're going to fucking shut the fuck up and listen to us. So, also, I, you know what? Okay. Oh, I'm just kidding. I've okay. watched a lot of that. Oh, I know. Uh, Mark, Mark Kitty is awesome. I love him. <laughs> so um, here's one thing before we even get into it. It's not this match, but it illustrates a fucking huge problem for me. There is obviously a partnership between the NWA and AEW, right? Right. Why is the only, literally the only champion that is here the women's champion? Why have there not been a single, a fucking single person on power television? They had the opportunity to do it. The Battle Royal to determine the NWA's World Heavyweight Champion. Number one, why the fuck has he not shown up once? Why? Who is that? They called us. Oh. Who? You guys Bruce have this, Magnus? right? You guys have this partnership. I have seen the women's champion defended more on a show that is not involved more on power, more because Here. because maybe they care more about the women's champion than you realize. Do they not care about the national? No, they don't the care television. About that. No, they just changed the design on that. Actually. Um, the person who designed the NWA um, TV champion designed Goldie. Same person. Nice. Yeah. And Goldie, she's, the getting, world's she's getting older. Anyways, okay. I still won. 100%. I mean, oh, number one. I win. 
Oh, well, number one, she's been dragged through the strip and everything, so she's definitely beating oh, yeah. the hell up. No, it was fine. I wanted her to turn cell before we retire her. Absolutely. Um, but though, once again, here's the problem. Why is it only the women's champion being presented? Why don't you have some maybe not so used um, AEW stars on uh, power? Gee, wonder why. You have them. They're there. Like I don't understand. Because nobody cares. They have to. They. I. I under. Okay. Here's the thing. I understand. They just came back, and I swear to God, if there's no kind of anything on, um, when our shadows fall, I'm gonna be really pissed off. When our shadows fall is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be awesome. Um, let's talk about this one. So here's the thing. Um, with the whole thing... I, I like... So, Cody Rose has to drop American Dream, of course. But, but... I don't know why they did it. Cody Rhodes... It's retarded. His, his promos... I was actually pissed off. No. His passion for the promos. I didn't like it. You didn't? Mm -mm. I loved it. I didn't. Who cares? Subject matter aside. Subject matter completely aside. His passion. I mean, Cody Rhodes does cut awesome promos. Don't get me wrong. Right. Like, he's very passionate about the business. He's very passionate about being the best. Let's continue that. No titles. Nothing like that. He I doesn't want need, to I, see... He I don't think he need needs it. Right. He doesn't need it. He's beyond that shit. Here's my thing. Here's my thing about this. They have a pay per view. Why did you have Anthony Agogo on here? He was not ready. No, he was not ready for no, this. No, no, Anthony Agogo was terrible. Here's my thing. Why didn't you have Q T Marshall on right. this? Right. This is a pay per view, and Q T Marshall, a person who was the person who betrayed the Nightmare Factory. Why wasn't he on this card? Right. Other than being with Anthony Ogogo. Right. I'm not saying that Anthony Ogogo is bad. He showed great stuff. But if they want to do Cody and Anthony, do this on a regular show. They're saving it for um they're saving it for the next paper. Ugh, whatever. Um with the battle royal, I can't say too much about it. Let's talk about this one. Is Moxley and Kingston should have won. They should you know have won. What? I feel like they shouldn't have. Okay, present your argument. Why okay. not? Eddie Kingston was not... He was not ready. Eddie Kingston... What? Eddie Kingston was not ready. Based on what I saw tonight, Eddie Kingston was not given... Now, now, whether or not you agree with the fact that he was not given the chance is one thing. Based on the amount of time I've seen Eddie Kingston wrestle or be involved in this match, he was not ready. He is. So, okay, here's the thing. Uh, John Moxley spent 75% of that match in the midst of it. Obviously, they don't have enough trust in Eddie Kingston. To do the job. So. What? So. Eddie Kingston was not ready. And that is my argument. Okay. So, number one, you're wrong. <laughs> I am not wrong. I am right in every way. <laughs> so, here's the thing. Uh, John Moxley. Wrong. <laughs> John Moxley is a former world champion. It's fake news. Not only here, but. Not only in this fucking promotion, but in WWE. No one cares. But here's the thing. The Young Bucks have been very minusculely involved with um, Kenny Omega. I feel like this was the opportunity for Kingston to win a belt. It should have been in front of fans. He was over like Rover. And I'll even say that he was over more than the Young Bucks by a mile. He was that over, and people wanted it. They wanted it. Now, luckily, Moxley ate the pin. Moxley ate the pin, so I would have been totally okay with it. This is why I was not as mad about it, but Kingston is just that. You sound pretty pissed. 
I'm really not. The only thing that I'm really upset about is that my, uh, that Eddie Kingston, Eddie Kingston's been in the business for a very long time. Oh, I agree. But I he do, he, I, has, I, he has I, a, I he has a very finish. he has a very limited run as a part of when he can win a belt. He went for the world title. He lost. Was I upset? Slightly because I feel like he was hot shit, and they promoted this team really well. Yeah, and I feel like at some point in time they will win the belt. But it, it it's, doesn't leave the opportunity for a rematch. But I hey, feel I, I feel the, like the young bucks at this point in time. I feel like this was a time for Kingston and Moxley to win. Because they were in front of a crowd. He oh, was, was super freaking over. He was no, you got Fighter Fest. I I keep forgetting about Fighter Fest, nor do I care. They're they're a fucking little like mini pay per view. Alright, you know what? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about Pinnacle and um this. Okay, I would have done a million things differently. I would have done Alright, I guess I had to drink more. Yes. <laughs> fucking shut up and drink, and I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. So number one. Why? Why didn't they... Not, they showed so much backstage shit. It was annoying. They're like, oh, let's do this one. Let's do this one. It had to be live. Why? It, clearly, there was something there that was not live. It was so clear. It was not. I like the Conan thing, but why didn't you show more so of... Santana and Ortiz and um, uh, FTR. Why? That was retarded. Um, I thought they actually had the better segments than even Sean Spears and Sammy Guevara. In fact, I thought that they had the weakest parts of this entire motherfucker. Even against um, Hager and Wardlow. There was already a developing rivalry between those two. They hit each other hard. They had really good stuff, and I liked it. And then Jericho and MJF, obviously that was the main focus. I understand that, but why didn't you have more live in the stadium? Also, why did you finish it in the live crowd? You had... A ring. Don't even fucking bother putting up the fucking stupid ass ring if you're not going to do anything with it. They had a move or two, and that was it. This was the weakest fucking stadium stampede, bar none, zero, just dog shit. Peanut Gallery, do you have anything else to say before I fucking move on? So anyways, I was drinking wine the entire time. I was, like, um, splashing my feet here because reasons. In what? Uh, in, in air because I feel like it. Okay. So, apparently you can splash in air. But apparently scrumptious can describe a drink. It's nummies of scrumptious. It's, <sighs> this continue. Like, fuck. <sighs> okay. So, I do agree with with this loser over here, this guy right here, that it was the weakest of the two stadium stampede matches. Absolutely it was. Um, the one really big criticism I have is the tag teams. There's, there was not enough Right. Uh, there was not enough FTR. There was not enough Santana Ortiz. I hated the way that they finished the match. Absolutely hated it. Right. Um, I mean, fuck, those were the biggest things. Because I think that if they switch everything back to the first one... It would have been perfect. Right. I also wanted a lot more of those little, like... Side like, right comedy segments because you had to do it with Matt Hardy. You have the characters there. Why didn't this you is, utilize this, it? This is literally the last stadium stampede. I think that they're just trying to get it out of the way. Right. That's my opinion. And if they do it again, I'm going to be really upset about it. Yeah. Absolutely. So if you want to make if you want to make pro wrestling majestic again, get rid of this match. I, I 
Here's my thing. I think they ruined it. I think they ruined it. They ruined it. Gone. This match should not exist anymore. It was stupid. It was absolutely stupid. Um, Do you really have anything to say about this one? I thought it was great. It was a good match. The story is great. Um, you know, I obviously, really obviously it. gives Darby Allen the opportunity to go against one or both or two or who cares. Darby Allen is obviously um, Sting 2.0. Yep. And I'm okay with that. I love it. Right. Uh, Sting looked really good. I thought Scorpio Sky. Obviously, Sting is on his way out. Scorpio Sky. Or, or, or Scorpio Sky. Or Darby Allen. Darby, Darby Allen, he needed because he's injured so right give him the opportunity to win without winning so that's perfect because what is he injured with he has like a sh- he has something okay anyways I, it's I fucking darby that. allen right he's, he's he's injured because of his yes i really can't say anything bad about this i really like this match anyways and sting they- Sting sting did a great job covering for darby allen. right and once again I can't say anything bad about this at all. Hikaru um, Shida, Dr. Britt Baker, they can face each other 10 times, and I will not be mad. And they're going to have a rematch. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a rematch either at Fighter Fest or they're going to have it at All Out. It's going to happen. Or, or something. Hikaru Shida is the, not only the longest reigning women's, or not only the longest reigning champion in AEW history, but the most title defenses. Right. You know, she was great. As a representative, they're going to have this match again. Britt Baker had to win this that, match. That, that was a five star match for me. One hundred percent. That was fucking amazing. I can't. I can't make that any more majestic. It was perfect. It was awesome. Absolutely. So here's the thing with Miro. Um. So Miro looks like an electrician earlier <laughs> today, right? So it's George. Um, here's the thing. Um, with the whole thing with Jake the Snake and throwing the quote unquote snake, it was terrible. Really? I hated it. I liked it. I I don't I don't know what I could have done to make this more majestic, honestly. I thought it was great. There was a real snake in there, maybe. There Okay, well, number one, they're not gonna do that if there was an actual snake in it. They could have done something different. How? Why? What else are getting done? A robotic put, thing, like put like a bunch of puppies in it? No. What I'm thinking is something that looks more realistic. Did you, you want to like take, shit? Did you want to take? Did you want Mira to take out his gigantic? Do you want to take his Bruce of Day dick and rape the bag? No, I want to rape you. I would have seen that. Probably. Would've. And I want him to throw you. <laughs> Please stop touching me. It's Ow. weird. Ah, ah. Will you drink your wine and shut up? You shut up. You drink your wine, you bitch. Well, I mean, I'm further along than you. They're not. Um, so Anyways, f- so Lance... So <sighs> it was a great match. I it love this match. It was a great match, but the rivalry could have been dragged out a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. I will say I do agree with that. I feel like... Great. I feel like if they started this right after Double or Nothing and maybe did something at Fighter Fest or even at All Out, right. it would have been a little bit better. Um, with Miro, um, him being on his winning streak, I feel like even this match, it's, it's definitely a dream match. It just felt a little rushed. It did, yeah. That's the only thing I have a criticism about. Um, I, I, I don't. I have criticisms. It was a no. great match. Uh, the story was awesome, and I really enjoyed this. I, I just don't. I can't make this more majestic than it was. So we're not done. I, I, I feel like that pack. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Pack may have some beef with Kenny Omega because he was not the one that was pinned. This is true. We're probably going to have a one-on-one at least at Fighter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then then we're going to have at the next big pay-per-view, we're going to have Jungle Boy versus Kenny Omega. No, you're not. Oh, that's right. They they, they announced that match in two weeks, which is is once again a mistake. A very big mistake because Jungle Boy is the hottest... Hottest face going right now. So here's my thing. Okay, I will say this, and I said I was actually going to say something about this um, uh, earlier. 
Jungle Boy, I think, should be the one to take the title off of Omega. Yeah. And here's my thing. And I think this would have been perfect. Omega loses the title to um, Jungle Boy. Right. Either some bullshit or not. I don't care. But at that point, then you do Pac and Jungle Boy for the belt. With Omega, I don't know what to do. I don't. I mean, obviously, he's hot shit right now, but I feel like them doing the Jungle Boy Omega at a regular Dynamite is an entirely big mistake. Oh, big mistake. It, it, should, is, it should be it like... It should be at least a fighter fest. It, no, no. It should be like a Money in the Bank sort of thing. It should be a fighter fest. Like, like, like Kenny Omega does not know when Jungle Boy is going to... No, 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 no. I actually kind of like the timing, but why are you doing this at a regular Dynamite? Have this at a big event? Because right. My, obvious, my, my, my point being obviously is jungle, that... Obviously, Jungle Boy is super popular. He is so popular. Why wouldn't you have but, this but on a fucking know. payment and buy some right, goddamn right. tickets? But, but you know that he's going to lose. Which the, I don't even care. He's still really popular, and people want to see it. But the point is, and this is, is kind of where I'm saying Jungle Boy should be the one to take it off of Omega. The point is that he's gonna lose. I mean, it's it's. I, I know it's, he's, it's I know unfortunate. I, I know he is, but he should be the one to take it off of Omega. I understand, but it is unfortunate that he is going to lose. If he loses, if he loses the fucking jungle, or if um, a jungle boy loses, who the fuck is going to take this stupid fucking title off of fucking Omega at this point? No one cares. It's going to be Moose. M- Moose is going to take the Impact World Champion off of Omega. Moose is taking the everything off of him. I mean, Andrade is going to take the uh, Mega Champion off of him. No, it's going to be Moose. <laughs> Moose is going to take the Mega Champion off of Omega. Why not? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Why not? You're so stupid, I swear to God. I'm not stupid. Anyways, that's the point. That's how you make professional wrestling majestic again. We're not even done. We're talking about this one next. So, um, I... Uh, Page and Cage raging and not inside of a cage. Okay, okay, here's the thing. Um, if it's not going to be Jungle Boy to take the world title off of it Omega, gotta be it man. has to be Page. It has to be Page. 100%. He Brian the, Cage versus... Brian, Brian Cage is going to be leaving the um, Team Taz. Yep. And he's going to go into that program, which is fine. I don't mind it. But Page, Adam Page, at this point, consistently winning matches. He's clearly up on the rankings, and the rankings matter. He is the guy to take it off of Omega if Jungle Boy loses. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Anyways, what, 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 wait, 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 what? For, for Page to take it off of Omega or for Jungle Boy to take it off of Omega? Yes. Somebody's going to do it, and if it's not going to be Jungle Boy, it's going to be a Hangman. No, it's going to be Moose. It's n- <sighs> you are the literal most retarded person I've ever met in my entire life. You know what? Here's the thing. Why is it going to be Moose? Moose is going to take the Impact Champion. Moose is Impact. Or is he? He is. <laughs> or is he? He is. <laughs> he is 100% impact. Page is going to be the guy. He has been winning matches. He has the momentum that you know that they want to strap the rocket ship to him. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> I mean, you're you're clearly a little bitch because you don't know shit. But anyway, you know, um, maybe I don't. But who cares? That's clearly how you make pro wrestling majestic again because we're not a bunch of retards here. But we want to hear from you. Do you agree with me or do you agree with me? Because he doesn't know shit. Wow. So what is? Wow. Maybe maybe people agree with me, you bitch. Well, I mean they don't. But whatever. Anyway. So, what is up for next week? So, we have NWA show, um, When Our Shadows Fall. So, here's the, here's the thing. 
we're going to be only covering um, When Our Shadows Fall mm -hmm. on um, next week's show. So we'll do everything NWA around that. That's including um, Heckling from the Hard Camera yep. and... And we have a very special Heckling from the Hard Camera. In, in wrestling lesson. Yeah. Especially because the playoffs and other sports are coming up. We have a very special... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And actually, so, actually, in both quadrants. Yeah. So we'll have that. But... So because Dominion is going to be happening, but it's happening on Monday... The 12th. The 12th. We're going to be doing that show the following week. Yes. And I think NXT TakeOver and... Um, Maybe you should check, you bitch. I'm going to check it during the show. I'll check later. My God. I do know that there is another show that we are going to be covering along with Dominion. Anyways... Visit our website. I am working on MajesticProduction.com currently. Yes, it's going to be under the old one because that is our DBA. And also go check out Brett Baker's new, her her brand new um, so dental, she does, dental yes. practice. She actually, actually owns her own now. She does. It's actually kind of cool. Also, um, subscribe to the channel. Share with your friends. We are also not sponsored by Dr. Britt Baker DMT, but we hope to at some point. That'd be awesome. I mean, I'll, I'll get my dental work from her any day of the week. You want to fly across the country with that one? Sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you do enjoy this, remember to share it. Uh, leave your comments down below if you think we made Pro Wrestling Majestic again, because clearly we did. Well, and well, not, not, not this loser over here, because he's an asshole. Also, become a patron. Um, we of have me. So, so we actually have different things. So, um, for every little tier of patrons that we have, we'll be adding shows. So, our first one is actually going to be Impact Plus shows. Ooh. But then we'll be adding Noah shows Ooh. and um, CMLL on the reg. So nice. we definitely have a lot going on. So become a patron. It's yeah, literally so. it's it's one payment. Yeah, it's one. And the more people it's you like share how, with, how much is it a month? Like four bucks a month or yeah, something like, like that. Five bucks a month. Yeah. Like. So, nothing. anyways, get your friends, get your family, get your dogs. Become patrons. As long as your money is green, we will accept payments. If there are enough people who are patrons, you get, you get, you get like exclusive you merch. Get people. more shit. Also, um, I actually did add something for patrons: giveaways. We'll be Ooh. doing. Yes, we'll be doing giveaways. It'll be merch. Um, signed merch too. Um, nice. maybe maybe gifts like um like wrestling shit like figures or turnbuckles or signed stuff that we get, um stuff like that. So if you do want to do that, check it out. It will be in the link in the flow page. I like follow, what's going on here. Right. Follow all of our social medias and as always, be majestic. <laughs>